Smartphones have news around the world with its tragedies from both past and future, but it can also be toxic when comparing lives on which lives are better based on looks and money. It's kind of a half and half, really. It's a, it's a knife to a knife because... On one hand, phones are very helpful. They can tell us what we need to know. We can learn more about, well, what we know, even from back then. But they're also a downside because people can pull them out during class and all that and pretty much just stare at them the entire time. Phones were very revolutionary back then when phones or cell phones were first announced with a smartphone by Apple. Uh, semester, um, if they are continually on the cell phone, then they do need to put it away. I don't have like a cell phone jail or anything like that, but I have made parent phone calls home. Um, conferences with students, because I know that it is impacting several students' grades. I think our lack of a true cell phone policy, you know, that just allows them to be on phone or on campus. Ever since phones were released into the world, it has increasingly become an addiction all day long to children in schools and adults in work. But it is reduced for the adults because they have more self-control. How did phones change students? I feel like phones in general changed, I think, everybody in a way. But, but, but speaking more to students, right now students are at a young age, so I feel like they care about, obviously, social, or social media a lot. Just a lot of comparisons, you know, even speaking for myself, you know, there's times I'm on my phone too much and I have to kind of just put it away. Like, man, let me go out and take a walk and get some fresh air kind of thing, you know? You know, kids get so caught up in just their phones and even adults, you know, get, get caught up in the social media life. So that's a big factor right there, in my opinion. For Tiger Media Network, this is Landon Jimenez from the production team in Teresita.